Ladies and gentlemen, today uh, I'll be reviewing Orbi RBK852, the Wi-Fi router um, it's a mesh system. It's also known as AX6000, has latest Wi-Fi 6 technology. It covers about 5,000 feet and six rooms. Um, I had Google uh, Nest mesh system before. Um, it was really good, but uh, the speed wasn't doing it for me. So I've decided to upgrade. Um, you can find these for $699, um, but if you look for DLC, you can always buy it cheaper. Um, uh, you, have just to look, you have to look for uh, DLC on the internet. Um, so I will be um, uh, doing the unboxing and then um, try on different corner of the house uh, and see how the speed varies and uh, how, if it's good or not and then share the thoughts with you guys so let's get to it nice Oops, that was just a, a sturdy test to see how durable they are. <laughs> so this is my current setup. I have the Aris SPG8300. This is a modem router, but the Wi-Fi uh, wasn't working well with the modem router combo. So I've decided to get the OV. This is connected to my OV right here. So that's my um, router, the RV connected to the modem and then my satellite is right there next to the my So that's it folks, that was the review for Netgear Orbi RBK852 AX6000 also known as RBR850 um, with one satellite, um, the mesh system, um, it covers uh, 5000 square feet up to 6 rooms. Um, I have set it up, it was very easy to set up, uh, uh, you know the hardest part was to closing the box uh, to store it, uh, but the actual setup was very easy. Um, and also um, placing it in the places it also was very easy um, it looks nice um, also uh, I have tested it in different corner of the house um, seems like it the speed increased at least 20% um, I uh, went to the farthest corner of the house as I shared with you guys um, I also um, tried it from my basement and um, that was also a pretty decent speed. I, I have a Comcast Xfinity. Um, I received about 1200 megabyte speed uh, and I was consistently getting uh, close to 450 megabyte speed um, around the house. And when I was doing from the remote corner of the house, I was getting about 200 uh, megabyte speed. Then when I went to the basement with the 5G speed, I was getting about uh, 30 megabyte per second and then I want to switch to 2G speed I, I received about 50 so as you guys know if you are going out to the farthest away from the satellite and and the router you should be using 2G that's uh, that will be faster for you because 2G has um, farther uh, the range better range um, where 5G gives you more speed when you are closer to the router um, just keep that in mind. Also, um, I have connected most of my smart devices like smart bulbs and smart switches, uh, all my Alexas and Googles to the 2G um, because most of them support 2G, they don't support 5Gs yet. Um, and, and that's better. Um, also, I would like to point out that um, the Orbi 852 is a tri-band, um, which means that it has um, three channels. So you have the regular 5G and the 2G. In addition to that, they have another 5G dedicated to get connection to the line to, to connect to internal hub so that it doesn't take the speed away from uh, use of uh, the users. So that's really great. Um, so if you are 
using a, a dual band um, you are probably getting your 2g and 5g um, this one has 2g 5g plus another 5g for dedicated connection um, that helps a lot to preserve your speed um, or we also comes with um, other um, bells and whistles um, the printer control uh, then you have the arm guard which uh, protects your network but you have to pay those for those subscription um, i believe it's uh, right now they have it sale for 28 dollars a year which is about two dollars a month and it's pretty cheap for the safety and security that you'll receive um, hopefully you found this video helpful um, and if you did um, uh, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up um, that's it for today until next time this is electro guru signing out thank you for watching